In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Angular and SuiteAlert 2. The idea is the following. We have a delete button and I want to show a confirmation dialog to the user when they click the button. So we are going to use SuiteAlert 2 for that. If you want to learn more about how to create Angular applications that work with SpeedOnet Core, buy my Udemy course today. There is a discount in the description of this video for this course. So let's get to the tutorial. All right, so here we are in our laptop's application. So let me create a new laptop and let me say to be deleted, save changes. And we're going to see that if I click on, on the delete button, we're going to see that it is simply deleted, but I want to show a confirmation dialog. So let's use Surreal 2 for that. So let's come to Visual Studio Code. And here we have our terminal because I want to install Sweet Alert. So let me say here npm install Sweet Alert 2. Enter. And also after this, we're going to install another package that is going to make it easy for us to use Sweet Alert in Angular. So now let me say here npm install at Sweet Alert 2 ngx Sweet Alert 2. This package will make it easy for me to, for example, from a directive implement the functionality of warning a user before they delete a record. Let's see that. But first I have to come to the app config because I have to configure globally Sweet Alert 2. So let me come here and let me say import providers from and let me pass an array and say Sweet Alert 2 module for root and let me import Sweet Alert 2. Let's put this here, import SuiteAlert2 module from SuiteAlert2 and GS SuiteAlert2. And that's it, with this we're ready to use SuiteAlert2. So let's come to our component. First I want to come to the product list component TS because I have to import from here my SuiteAlert2 module. So let me say SuiteAlert2 module and again let me import that module here. And as you can see there are no more errors here. So as I was saying, the idea of using this package is that instead of having to do some complex logic of displaying the confirmation dialog and checking the response of that confirmation dialog and then doing something in response of that manually, I prefer to use a directive of Angular that comes from that package that we just installed that will allow us to do just that. So let's see. Here, as you can see, we have the delete button and here we have that we're using the click event to invoke this delete function. Instead of using click, we're going to use confirm. This confirm allows us to say, if the user confirms the action that comes from SuiteAlert2, then we're going to invoke the delete function. And here I have to say swal because I want to use a directive. And let me say here object title, and I'll say confirmation. This is the title for the confirmation dialog. Let me say here text, the text for the confirmation dialog. Are you sure you want to delete this record? All right, and finally, show cancel button equal to true because the user should be able to opt out of the operation. And believe it or not, that's it. With this, we can say Control K S to save everything. Let's come back to Google Chrome and let's see that we're here. Let me create a new laptop to be deleted one more time. Let me say delete. Confirmation, are you sure you want to delete this record? Cancel, nothing happens. But if I say delete and OK, you are going to see that now it is deleted. Now, something else that you may want to do with the alert is to display a success dialog. For example, let's say that you want to display a this operation was successful after deleting the laptop. We can do that. Let's see that we can come here. Let me come back here. Let's come to this delete functionality that we have here, F12, and after we go to the web API and delete the record. Here I want to use with alert to display that successful dialog. So let me say swal, which comes from Sura alert 2. This swal comes from Sura alert 2. And let me say here fire. And let me pass a title, success. We can pass a message like the operation was successful. And finally, we can pass a type. Like what kind of confirmation dialogue is this? Is this for an error? Is this for information, a question, success or warning? In our case, obviously it is success. So I will choose success. And that's actually it. With this, we can save. We can come back to Google Chrome. Let's see that. We can create a new laptop again to be deleted. Enter. And we can say here, delete 
okay and we have success the operation was successful in case that we want to display that kind of alert if you want to learn more about creating applications with angular and sp.net core buy my udemy course today link with a discount in the description of this video thank you